Begin by selecting the Blocks folder. A common place to create an always on and always off bit is in OB1. So let's open OB1. Right click the last network and insert a new network. Add a normally open contact and a coil. Select the network line in front of the open contact and branch down. Add a normally closed contact and close the branch. Select the first contact. It is commonplace to use a memory bit that ends in point 1 for an always on bit. So let's add M0.1. Type M0.1 over the close contact also. Hand over the coil. If M0.1 is true or false, the coil will be true, so the bit will be always on. Let's add a symbol name. Right click one of the addresses. Choose Edit Symbols. Select the symbol field, and let's add the name always underscore on. Click OK. Let's add another network. Select the network line, and add a normally open contact, a normally closed contact, and a coil. It is common to use a memory bit that ends in point zero for an always off bit. Select the open contact and we'll enter the address M0.0. .0. Select the close contact and enter M0.0 .0 and enter M0.0 .0 for the coil. Let's add a symbol name. Right click one of the addresses. Choose edit symbols. Click the symbol field and add the name always underscore off. Click OK. Let's widen the address field. Select Options. Choose Customize. Select the LAD FBD tab. And let's extend the address field width to 18. Press the Enter key. Save the block. Download it. And turn monitoring on. Select the network where you want to begin monitoring. Here you can see that M0.1 will always be on and M0.0 will always be off and that concludes this video.